demographics being what they are, most of us women will end up living alone for a great portion of our life, usually in our later years. And this gives us an opportunity. We get to just say, it's all mine now. So if we want to make our interiors uh, things we found at the dump, Are things we found of brights of nettle bed. At a couple of grand a pop, we can do it. We like French pottery, even though our husband hates it. Never mind. Buy the lot. We get to decorate, we get to play, we get to sing, dance, whatever you choose to do. But according to Marjorie, Hillis, do it in style. So yes, you can have a blast. So long as you stay within your means, of course. But whatever those means are, well, a little creativity goes a long way. So, do what you can. Now, admittedly, the book is ancient and it's geared toward women only because then even as now unfortunately men have a great many more options and are given a great deal much more leeway than women are she suggests having friends have as many boyfriends as you choose to have girlfriends if you choose to have whatever play bridge every night of the week if you want Take time for yourself. Enjoy. Within the limits, of course, you naturally have. I don't see anything terribly wrong with this. I don't see anything terribly sexist about paying attention to the actual reality of the situation. Demographics being what they are. I intend to live as a rather well-to-do widow in my later years. And I plan on having a great deal of fun indeed. I can assure you. Ah. A little champagne while floating in the pool? Who's to care? Anyway, I recommend this book. It is very pithy. And it does tell the truth. You cannot go through life maundering, weeping, and wailing. You also can't go through life ranting and screaming and yelling. Oh, not oh, and not oh. No, 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 no. A decent variety, please. In other words, let's be cool. And as she says, it's a woman who expects orchid, orchids, who get Orchids. Usually without having to say a word. Because the one time he appears without them. Yes, well. Never, ever, ever be desperate. Get as much out of your life as you can possibly get. So. How to like it. Now, some of us, of course, can surround ourselves with books. Just saying. There are worse things you could be doing. Trust me on that one. <laughs> I might even have done a few. Be that as it may, and not that you asked. But still, I recommend this book highly, especially for those older women who find themselves at a loose end. Children off to the four winds, active building their own families, 
keep up a nice healthy correspondence, of course. Making friends in the various places, chatting on the interwebs, but every now and again, get out and do something for real. Keep yourself exercised, energized, eat right, party every now and again, because why not? There's nothing wrong with a good party. As long as it is a good party. So yes, I see nothing outdated in this book, even though it was written way back when, 30s, 40s, 50s, somewhere in that time period. I'm sure you'll catch the drift. Just look at how little people used to be paid. Ye gods. Anyway, yes, I suggest that every Everyone get this book, especially if you're a woman. And it would make a great, excellent Christmas present or birthday present or anniversary present. Well, maybe not so much anniversary present. Anyway, thank you for watching and please come again.